we've invested in property before, so we, we sort of got out of the market a bit. We just sort of thought we may as well make the most of it now and, and get in while we can. Um, and then it just sort of developed further from there as, well, we've got enough super, we could, you know, sort of invest in property through a, a self-managed super fund as well. So our initial request, I guess, kind of grew just because yeah. we had the confidence that we were going to get good advice and, and get things in place that, that you know, sort of are in line with our longer term goals. Yeah, and I think the interesting thing to come out of the process was the self-managed super fund. Um, you know, we'd heard self-managed super and, uh, you know, talked about it briefly but thought it was too hard, too hard, too big, too scary. Um, but when they spent the time to sit down and explain it to us, you know, it was quite the opposite. But, but again, it gets down to the fact that, you know, we thought it would take a lot of effort for us mm. to manage. Because it says self-managed super, you think that you have to do it all, whereas the way that it, it's set up um, through Reviton and, and um, the Centre of, of Wisdom is, is that you make your decisions early on and then it, it's like any super, it, it's managed by other people and and that. So the, the initial setup is, is time consuming, but after that, it's the same as anything. It, it works on its own. I don't understand. think we would have we would have taken the options we did if we thought they weren't going to if we weren't going to see the growth in them. Yeah, so. and if if anything, I think we've diversified more with the self managed super fund, um, you know, than than our standard mm -hmm. super funds. You know, by adding the property in there. So um, yeah, I, I think it will.